Oh, hello there. Are you a fan of mad science? Are you a fan of sinking 7,500 steel into an enormous pyramid? Maybe even a giant pyramid made of the blood of our enemies? Well, you just happen to be in the right place. It was only two short days ago that this colony was in total utter ruin. Uh, no thanks to you, you can't piece of shit. Though we haven't quite completely rebuilt everything that was destroyed in the Mechanoid Raid, we have rebounded stronger than ever. Better armor, better equipment, even with thematic appropriateness. Who could forget sweet, honorable, frightening Pharaoh Bowman? Sweet Pharaoh Bowman, who single-handedly saved us from the Mechanoids, promoted to the rank of Pharaoh, mainly because our other Pharaoh candidate, Ink Sphinx, was kidnapped. Actually, what happened to Ink Sphinx? I'm sure they're fine. But also our strongest, mightiest warrior woman. Sorry, strongest. Oh, you know what I meant. Which is pretty impressive given uh, given the competition in this place. I was going to name her Bone Woman yesterday because she defeated like all the mechanoids with bones instead of Bowman, Bone Woman. But it didn't really work for, I hope, fairly obvious reasons. Somebody said, you can solve this problem a lot easier. Let's put an O in. And you're right. Bow Woman. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> I get it. I kind of see it. She's a little woo when she's not in the middle of combat, ripping, literally fist fighting centipedes, ripping scythers limb from limb, and then leaving when it's all over, only to find more mechanoids rebuilt and coming right back out. Bow woman didn't hear no bell. So anyway, uh, who here likes fire foam poppers? Not me. They're hideous things, but. Look at this. Interior Fire Foam Popper from the Interior Fire Foam Popper mod. This is a little brother of the regular Fire Foam Popper. It contains only about a fifth of the foam, but doesn't get in the way, and you could mistake it for a decoration. Tell me that that is not... I mean, look, just look at the comparison here. Hideous, ugly, awful, disgusting. Fine. Relaxed. Calm. Petite. And honestly, I don't really mind that they're tiny so much. We can just we can just put multiple of them in every room and make it even more of a nice all than it would be from just one single fire phone popper. I will admit, I haven't really thought this idea through, but that's that's kind of on brand for the channel. Welcome, you must be new here. I believe the implication is they're ceiling mounted, but you know what? Let's actually build one and see what happens here before I get too carried away covering the entire base in door blocking fire phone poppers. Oh good god, Lilo started a social fight with Bow Woman. What were you thinking? You're going to get yourself killed. Hang on, Lila was the other person who was fighting those mechanoids to the very bitter end, right? Limping out of the hospital with a crossbow. Man, they're all so cool. So here's another thing we can do. I built five phone poppers everywhere. You don't need to see that. That's not important. We do have bed connectors, which allow us to link up because we've got quite a complicated colony going on here. There's blood being pumped one way, nutrient paste being pumped the other, genes being pumped around. Oh, to be fair, I probably won't be connecting the bed connectors up to the gene dispenser. That tends to have fairly um, disastrous results. I believe they work with anywhere you can sleep in, so even death rest caskets. Oh, this is powerful. All these vampires effectively having twice as many beds as a regular person. Oh, God. Well, here I go bankrupting the colony again. Oh, and the prison. Oh, if we hook the whole thing up to the prison, not only will any uh, vampiric slash blood feeder prisoners we get be totally fine with it, we never have to feed them again. And that's been such a massive time sink. Oh, and, you know, maybe you've got your best workers somewhat distracted. Ooh, this work shows baby Pierpos crouching next to a fire while exhaling clouds of fog. Oh, it's to show that Pierpos has ascended over his fear. Fearpos. <laughs> are you probably thinking, where are their helmets? They've got helmets. They just only show now when they draft up. I thought that was quite a nice compromise. That way I can see their lovely, kind, just faces. But that way, when they get into combat, they have all this defensive gear. Like nothing. Made hats. And a beret. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other big thing I want to try and solve. So, look, I love style. It's called Fashion Honey. Look it up. Bazroto, Tungi, and They're stylish. They're fashionable. They're wearing clothes ultimately made of fur or cloth or well, devil strand gloves, which is, I suppose, at least a step up. Though not exactly a vital organ, is it? Unless you're a different mod YouTuber. So to that effect, I've added this very cool mod that allows us to do something somewhere. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> I'll be honest. Oh, you know what? We probably have to do some research. I don't know which one of these many, many research benches it's at. It's a mod called Simple Materials Weave. The who? The Chog Covenant. I was about to talk about the, the mod, but okay. Um, hello, how are you doing? They're looking to capture aloe due to torture. Jesus Christ. Okay, we got 39 down there. <laughs> oh, no, not again. <laughs> <gasps> okay, I'm just going to go fight 80 people with... um. 
My 11 people capable... Oh, sorry, 12, 13 people capable of violent. That's good. Honestly, I feel like this way is a bit more defended. I was able to put down a, a much larger, fancier gate. The second one doesn't have a wall connecting to it, so that's not much of a much of a gate, I will admit. Good God. <laughs> okay, team. Um... Let me let me let me arrange some people then. Let's see what we can do here. Oh Okay, well that's pretty much most of the top group dealt with immediately. What do they have 42 up here? Nice I mean you if you can go fist fight big explosive turrets, that's all good Keeping Toomgi and Am at the back because they've got ridiculously long-range weapons And then Volker and Lilu there are fine. We're just waiting on Bo Woman. Still not sure quite how I want to pronounce that yet And I'm not sure either way is good <laughs> <laughs> what we also might want to do is move that, because I can see somebody getting horribly murdered. Oh, watch Bowman's top hat. That's premium cloth. I popular demand. I'm going to enable all of Anne's powers to be autocast. And I'm going to trust her. I'm going to trust her. Call in the blood. It's a bit pointless, because we've pretty much almost won. Okay, do not call in the blood. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Did you do it? I think she actually stopped doing it. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. I'm going to turn that off of auto cars. A bit unnecessary. Oh my god, I thought we were in trouble, but no. No, you're trapped in here with us. Whoa, did they just teleport Anne forward? Or did Anne just teleport herself forward? Anne, come on now. I know that you love murder and killing and maiming and death. We are the good guys, by the way. What are they doing at the top? Look at that. They've pretty much wiped themselves out. There's like two active people there. And they're just like not fleeing either. Hey, full credit. I can't wait to see how mighty my prison gets. I'm just going to say you lot, search and destroy. Actually, I think is what Anne was doing there. I think I'm going to have to pick and choose. I don't think I can capture all of these people. We physically do not have a prison large enough. <gasps> the Mona peeling plan. Peeling as in like flaying them and turning them into a lovely armchair. I mean like peeling as in turning them into a pea, which uh, somehow actually may be worse. I'm looking for people with high mining. If I can't find any people with high mining, then I am going to turn them into very tasty garden vegetables. Zane! Zane has good mining. Ah, uh, slippery. Non-combatants, come down here, grab them. Oscar, let's bring you on, uh, let's, let's bring you on back up. <laughs> for better or worse. Omen! You don't even have a weapon. You're not supposed to be here fighting. I haven't decided what weapon I want to give you yet. Absolute nutter. I mean, you lot might as well be grabbing them on the way back. Just just grab whoever. Everybody is capable of being P. But we do actually need to replace a couple of our... I mean, there's plenty of unwavering loyal people here. We do need to replace a couple of our drain casket characters. Well, we also need to get more drain casket characters. Because, my God, there certainly was not enough. No way, we already filled the prison. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, we're going to need a bigger prison. Um, I could hollow this out too. Two distinct separate prisons makes it a little easier for prison breaks, I guess. I'm gonna go have a have a poke around for some miners in that other group of bodies. Whole squad's back and we're stronger than ever. We could probably just like slap down a bunch of beds and, and be fine. I think we'll be okay, don't worry. If I'm not mistaken, we could also use these Oh Anne, what the hell are you doing up here? Murder? Really? Someone of your someone of your kind natured and good talents? You would never Sorry, is it just illegal to be a good miner in this game or something? Every single one of them is terrible! Oh, for God's sake. Well, you're up here. Come and grab someone else. We might as well grab as many as possible. Now, what I was about to say is I'm pretty sure there is a way to turn bodies into genetic slurry. And it just so happens we uh, seem to have gained quite a lot of bodies very fast. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I mean, I kind of expected that. Oh, no, you were the good miner. Oh. Um, resurrection possibility? No, non-existent. Okay. Very frustrating. I, maybe I've bitten off slightly more than I could shoot. Maybe I should set up another doctor. Oh, Slippery's jobs are reset. Oh, and Baz Roto's were as well from where we had to recruit them from being wild people. Never mind. That's fine. Hey, uh, anybody who's even like remotely good at doctoring, which to be fair is like almost everybody in this colony. Good God. I don't need them all being surgeons in hindsight. I think I captured about 40 people and we've ended up with about six prisoners. Ah, oh, these things happen, don't they? A lot of corpses to deal with and I thought, why not make it so that we don't have to risk any tomboy situations like last time? The amount of comments I saw about people screaming that tomboy had been butchered without realizing I just put her in a sarcophagus was a little too high. So you don't have to then just deleted the bill. God damn you. Say butcher all corpses. We need to butcher the humans for blood and other such things to make blood create. We just say no colonist corpses. Uh, and then we lower the ingredient radius to just the freezer. That seems fine. And then if we say uh, no human-like colonist corpses in here as well, that seems like we've got a double safety net. Oh dear. I didn't capture nearly as many as I was hoping. Hey, nice. Why the hell did modders torment me like this? I'm working on the pea hatchery, right? For the, for the pea people. The pea pea... 
people uh, so that I can get rid of some of these crappy prisoners that I really just do not want to spend the next 40 years feeding and recruiting and then for them to do absolutely nothing for us. So, like, hey, we'll slap down some more sun columns. We'll throw up some fake trees because so, yeah, it's under a roof, so regular trees can't grow. I thought that would look lovely. Uh, but because this is where Mona's children are going to be growing, I'll slap down a big fancy door. Oh, this hangar door looks good. Oh, no, that's too big. We'll go with this one. Oh, wait a second. That one's too small. Hurt me. Why do you do this? That'll do. That's fine. All right, I take back everything I said. Thank you. Ooh, right, yes, but if we're going to be slapping down all that, we are probably going to need to shore up the power grid. These three cryo generators have really been pushed to their maximum. Bear in mind, it's 7,000 watts excess right now. That's because the sun lamps aren't on for all the hydroponics or anything like that. We do need something extra. So I guess we'll do something a little bit more with this room. I think we're at the stage now. Don't, don't worry about the floor. I think things change a little bit. I think we're at the stage now where I could definitely crack open a couple with the boys, get rid of these bioreactors, and just slap down some, well, cryo generators. Make it even colder ones. Hey, what have you done? Oh, my God. 1,622 human meat. That seems like a lot of hemogen. Oh, they must have come out in a transport box. We haven't got any, like, animal uh, hemogen extraction going on here. Whoa, we've we've got so much human meat. What do you mean? Who's dying of hypothermia? Or one of the prisoners? Oh, no, it's the people who are popping out of the pods because this room is so bloody cold. Sorry, I got very distracted by the tsunami of human meat erupting out of the prison door thanks to Slippery, you monster. I think we could do with a few more drain caskets. If we're trying to run a whole genetics lab off of that, coupled with the fact that I'm now hooking up every single bed in the colony to... Uh, that same hemogen network, our drain rate is going to be enormous. Totally have steel and plastic. I, I need a quick injection of resources. And I think if there's anyone else I would trust in this colony to take a quick injection and uh, something, something, Oscar. You know what I'm getting at. I don't need to finish that. <laughs> this is disgusting. I haven't got room in my brain right now for all of that, all of that type of stuff when I'm trying to remember all the things I've half started and unfinished. Oh, I totally forgot about the... Remember that craft siring trainer? I said, oh, that'd be good to give to Mona, and then never did anything with it again. Well, apparently we've already got we've already got that unlocked. Give me that. Oh, we're selling 12 death rust capacity serums. And if I'm not mistaken, actually needs death rust right now. Oh, we can take something else to sell, surely. And if I'm not mistaken, needs death rust. So, Anna and Mona are now good friends. Now, originally, I think Anne was like, you know, waiting for Mona to prove herself a little bit, and now they are the best buddies, plus a, like plus two thousand opinion. Not that it shows that. And there's also a bonus for them both being physically stunning. Because that's right, this is Ansylvania, Alabama. We'll just death rest her, and we'll see if she can connect to all the buildings. If not, we'll give her enough to connect to her. I don't think she'll be able to, because there's a lot of shit going on in here, right? This is going to give her superpowers. I wouldn't be surprised if she sits in this death rest chamber and transcends to being uh, an architect almost instantly. Yeah, so look, she's connected... She's maxed out. We need to connect to, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, at least 14... 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, Jesus. Is there like a limit? Is there a hard limit to how many you can get? No, she's just 22 out of 22. We just need to top her off with all those 12. And even that, I don't think is enough. No place for lavish meals. No place for hemogen packs. Help me. My vampire colony is far too successful. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, whoa, whoa, stop, stop, stop. If I'm not mistaken, somewhere in here, Persona Vampire Greatsword for Mona. For Mona? Or we give one each to the P children, because Mona has that uh, weeby, weeby sword, Scarlet Edge. I like that for Mona. 300 of, I believe that's any resource, because it's stuffable, not specifically silver, because that'd be very bizarre. Metal Waddle Stone, two skull, and five gold. Please stop butchering the people. I want your skulls. Where are you? Take skulls again? Oh, you need to have a specific style for your ideology, don't you? Not morbid? Am I going insane? Oh, maybe it's not morbid. Aha, there we go. That's my bad, okay? It's totally my fault. I saw the skull spikes desired in the ideology, and I was like, ew, those are tacky. So I removed it, but it turns out they actually serve a very valuable purpose. Who's eel? Hello? Volker, come put this man back to bed. Who are you? Oh, it was the guy that... Hey, don't do that. It was the guy that Anne was carrying to the drain casket, and then I told her to go sleep. <laughs> She's like, no, it's too much hard work, pass. Hello there. Oh, don't kill them. Don't kill them. Don't kill them. You better decide not to... Oh, okay, fine. I'll be more sensible. For God's sake, I hate being sensible. Cook, 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 combo breaker. You... Please. Just, please, just laugh. I'm so, I'm so sick of this. I've got to admit, I hate RimWorld. I've never actually enjoyed playing this game once. It's all just been tremendous acting for five years solid. And then even during my free time when I play this, 
I also do I do exactly this. I just pretend I'm speaking into a microphone. Oh, the series you've missed. Wait a minute. These are the people who are... No, that's Undead Horde. Oh, what the hell? You're just here again? How many times am I going to teach you this lesson, old man? Oh, Jesus. Please let that be the only group. Oh, good Lord above. They've just sent 100 people. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Leave me alone for one day to build my things! I just want a fucking pyramid! Why is that too much to ask? Actually, I made a... I've remembered for the first time ever to make a defensive position. I can't find it. It's too many... Oh, why does he never use all the buttons on the screen? Yeah, I wonder! I wonder! See you all in 40 minutes when I've deciphered the Rim Rim hieroglyphs here. It's like playing bloody columns! I'm gonna be honest. I think we're dead. Because <laughs> they've destroyed my defense, I'm out of power. If only we had somebody capable of burning the sky with blood. I guess she'll awaken early. You have Anne is going to be absolutely livid. I'll put her back to bed when she's she's old and cranky. I'll put her back to bed when we're done here. Um. Oh my god, she's going to Psy Focus. Whoa, we can we can resolve that. We turn Hemogen to Psy Focus, right? And then maybe I shouldn't auto cast some of these. And then, uh. Yes, good, good, good. You just gotta hold. You just gotta you gotta just gotta hold strong for a little while. Shit. Oh Jesus. Oh Lord. Um I think we're probably just gonna die though. The storyteller's lost his mind. Everyone's like, oh Randy, typical Randy. It's Perry Persistent! And I, I mean I get it, I understand the name, but Perry Persistent had never been this mad before. He's gone totally batshit crazy. Might solve half my problem. This might solve half my problem. Oh, it didn't blow up. You selfish piece of shit. Hello! Ah oh. Meanwhile, Oscar's just having a nice Having a nice travel around the world. <laughs> Fucking cat boy again. Oh god, okay, okay, hold on. Castle walls have been breached. Let's come back here a little bit, please. Oh god, okay, they're into the Mona meat grinder. Careful there, careful tomboy. Please don't use your lasso if you can avoid it, friend. Yeah, no, no, that lasso for you is purely decorative, let me be clear. I need to sippy if we're gonna be able to cause the blood rain. If we can get the blood rain off, we'll probably be fine though. It's just, you know, things are a little bit tense right now. <laughs> I barely had time to relax from the last lot of raids. Come on, sippy, 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 sippy. Come on. Sippy faster. How long is that ability on cooldown for? Can I just do it again immediately? Try and build up some more hemogen? Oh, sorry, Psy Focus, because that's clearly not enough. Uh, panic attack from the enemy. That's good. That's good news. Probably saw Mona or, you know, any of my other frightening, frightening colonists. She's kind, really. Oh my god, they've actually dealt with it. What the fuck? How have you dealt with that? That was a mass of people. Oh. I mean, I'm not angry. Wait. I mean, I'm not angry. Those are just the living ones, the humans. 18 plus 18. That is 36. I can't argue with the maths. There's a problem. They're going for my very special secret lab. Oh, my things. Oh, I'm so glad I built those turrets as decoration. I should do that more often. What are the fire phone poppers look like? Oh, they're not bad. They're not bad at all. I think we take the bridge. I think we just take the bridge and go with it. Cause hypothermia. What the hell do you mean hypothermia? Oh, the prison's three degrees C. Oh my god, of course, it's okay. Where am I ever going to get new prisoners from, eh? <laughs> this is an all-out war. Um, do me a favor. Uh, I need the stinky vampires front and center, please. Lilu, Volka, and then let's give me give me Allo as well. And we're just going to do Stink Cloud. And they're going to die to the gas. And then hopefully Anne's going to be ready to... Hopefully Anne's going to be ready to call down those clouds soon. I left this one cool down for like a big problem. And now she's... She's not ready to do it. She's so selfish. Anytime now. Whenever you're ready. There you go. Let's top you up with a bit more hemogen. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ooh. Oh, you must have lassoed them over. That's fine. That's fine. Lilu, 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 Lilu. Oh, they... We were the ones that were lassoed. Careful there. That's a danger town. Okay, okay. Here we go. Toxic cloud. Stinky time. Come on, Aloe. Nice. There you go. That'll do it. That'll do it. And then you, Stinky town. And then you, Stinky town. And then we'll just jump away. And they'll have to come through the gas to get to us at that point. Oh, we could hold them at the hot gates. <laughs> I'm not going to use the term stinky gates because I think that has a very different implication that I'm not entirely comfortable with. Well, that's good. I'm glad Anne's having a fucking great time over there. Okay, jump over, jump over. There you go, there you go, there you go. You come into the smell. Tox gas severe. They're falling over. Hello. Okay, this is fine. We need to come back to like here though. Again, keep them at the hot gates. Maybe these people will help us out. And how close are we to the blood rain? Nowhere near. Nowhere near at all. Even if it doesn't kill them, even if it even if it doesn't knock them down, that alone drops their sight and their breathing down by like their movement speed and their manipulation is so nerfed at that point. I think we're fine. I'm just gonna let the peace squad go butt wild and just slice them to pieces. Go mad. Oh, Piapos again. Ah, uh, Piapos having that smaller body size because he woke up one day and randomly remembered he's a dwarf, which is bullshit, has made his health so low that he basically just can't fight for us anymore. 
I think I'm gonna have to do a bit of genetic engineering for Pierpos, aren't I? This is good. This is what I was hoping for. Mona's just in there slicing him to bits. Actually, both the Peace God are doing great work. It's just poor Pierpos has been doomed by bullshit mechanics. Done? Are we good? I think we've actually I think we've actually survived it. You know, that wasn't nearly as bad as I expected, because we're basically just doing like one hit from these crossbows or these cryo rifles enough to knock them down. Now I'm looking for miners, and would you look at that right there, Zebra? Hello, my friend. Oh, it's Zebra. Oh, listen to him speaking his different words. <laughs> the good guys. <laughs> They're like sardines. Oh, God. <laughs> good luck, Tomboy. That's all I'm going to say. Enjoy your life. Oh, my God, we've got so many people in the prison. The corpses are rotting. Uh, where do I store all these human corpses? We're the good guys. I don't want an Imperial caravan to turn up and see the staggering amount of war crimes we've got going on here. Uh, war crimes for, like, the power of good, though, so it's maybe more acceptable. Don't take that out of context ever. Converting them. I'm, I'm putting them in so we can convert them, give them a new life. They're going to contribute to this planet, and they're going to be happy, and I'm going to do it by their passions. It's going to be fine. We're the good guys. We're the, we're the good guys. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hello. Nothing's going on here. We're fine. Oh, let's be honest. They're the Empire. They'd be like, hey, nice work. You could have probably rammed a few more in there, though. As long as they, we don't do anything that might imply that we're sanguifages, I think we're pretty safe. No sort of fashion statements or enormous pointy ears. Helmets with fangs on? Or whatever the fuck bow woman is. <laughs> I feel like I've really nailed the theme of subtle sanguifage this series. Anyway, I forgot about Oscar who's out there to buy me 7,500 steel so I can build an enormous pyramid. Worry, I haven't forgotten. We do have that emergency and Sylvania artillery strike if things get really, really, really bad. But I, I mean, I want to save that for mechanoids or something a bit more significant than a bunch of people with bows, which are now flooding my every flat surface. Maybe that was their plan. Maybe that was their plan. They give me so many resources, I can't possibly handle it all. Oh, Jesus. Speaking of which. Oh, we might as well do this before she goes back to sleep, I suppose. Well, this mod might have just jumped to the top of my favorite mods ever list. Look at this. You can close the shelf. <laughs> that's amazing. And then you can just see what's underneath. Oh, that's really cool. I need to build one of these for the uh, for the sword then, don't I? Look, and it actually makes it fit better, too, if it's oversized. I'm going to leave that one locked because that's like an ancient tome of unspeakable power. And to be honest, we don't really need more necromantic thralls. That's like a nice decoration. Okay. Oh my god, that's still not enough. Look. Ooh, no power grid. Yes, no, that would make would make sense. Yeah, I don't think we need any more food right now, actually. So I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna, like turn these off. Oh, they've got good gene packs and I can't afford them. I mean, I could just not buy the things that we need. I could not buy so much of the things that we need. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, that's pretty good. I love my pet raccoon. I sure hope nothing terrible happens to it. No! He's fine. <laughs> He's helped me keep myself amused. This isn't meant for your entertainment. This is for me. I've just spent 20 minutes trading with people and haggling over three steel a time. I need, I need enjoyment in my life. I need a raccoon injection of... Hmm... Maybe we rephrase that one. I need a humor injection in the form of tiny little fellas. What are they? Like mammals? Marsupials? I'm already done with death rest. What the hell? What the hell? Are, what are you talking about? Oh, I guess she is. I guess that worked fine. A glucosoid rush times one. Wait, you can only have one of them? You can only have one of, one of those? Why have I connected up to her, uh, like a like hundred? Oh, well, these things happen. <laughs> what? <laughs> she fully death rested. She's fine. Maybe that's like the accelerators. Maybe all of those stack at the very least. I should have checked it. They have underestimated how complex this pipe network is going to be. Oh, for God's sake. This is going to cost thousands of steel. Tens of thousands of steel. It's four per pipe and I have to lay about 50,000 pipe. <laughs> what am I, a YouTuber at a convention? Okay, there we are. There we are. That's not, that's not too terrible. Oh, the things I'll do to avoid good schedule management. It's just one network. Now I've got to plumb in all the... Hemogen pipes. Realistically, a lot of this is already done from like the death rest, uh, the, the death rest chambers and everything else. So I should be able to figure back off of that and save us a good few twenty thousand gold. Oh my God, I'm so confused. What pipes have I done and what pipes haven't I done? I'm tracing over pipes that I'm already building to build more pipes than I haven't built yet. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Imagine, instead of being sensible, I could have just built an enormous pyramid. Yet here I am, actually trying to do something massively beneficial for the colony. 
What a waste of time. Two hours later. I think I've been genuinely managing this colony for an hour and a half now. Nothing's happened. I've been sitting at workbenches, redoing things, adding tool cabinets, just trying to desperately stop them drowning because there is just so many resources. There's just, there's just too much shit to manage. I mean, look at this. I've expanded the freezer and the thing's still overflowing. Oh my God, I finally found storage for everything. <laughs> Holy shit. Been here for hours. Please turn this droner off. You're making it so difficult unnecessarily. Kill them all. Kill the lot. God's sake, keep the noise down. What a goddamn mess. Another 600 steel going on my pile of 4,200. Ha 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 ha. I really need to stop doing that every single time it makes my lungs hurt. So it doesn't really give the imp <coughs> oh, yeah. It also doesn't really give the best impression that we're the good guys. And is out there in the world, and you never guess what Anne's buying. <laughs> today is the day. Today is finally the day. I have already done a tour, trading with all of the Outlander Union settlements, buying all of the silver they've got, I'm selling advanced components, and I sold every single one of our pieces of fabric and leather and everything. I will admit, I probably should have saved some. We didn't have enough storage for that, and look, we're getting more delivered anyway, so it's not a big deal. This room was absolutely rammed. So I was like, fine, we'll keep the cloth, that can at least let us do some stuff. Everything else can go. Dale. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, you are... Ooh, you're a Strigoi, right? Um. Well, that's terribly annoying. What am I going to do with you? Hang on. We don't have a Strigoi, do we? We've got Brucia. We've got the... Uh, Achaemians. Panlings. Regular Sanguophage. Obviously, the... Uh, Malachi. We don't have a Strigoi. You are very, 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 very good at melee. So I think there's a very obvious faction we throw you into, my friend. Especially given that Pharaoh Bowoman is a Malachi, which is a mutated Strigoi. So I think that is, uh, I think that's a fine combination there. LA character with an Egyptian sub-theme, sub also with vampires, and with good guys. Um, Magi, that's the best I've got. <laughs> what am I going to give you? I need to have a look through all of the, all the armor sets. It's got to be like marine armor, I suppose, like prestige marine armor. The one, if I remember correctly, died in the prison from hypothermia or went into death row specifically. Yep, that looks like it. You've lost an arm, you've lost an ear, a toe, and a thumb. We can fix that for you. My God, I'm almost free. I'm almost free. Now piss off, tomboy. Who is the prisoner? Oh, which one of you was it? <laughs> this has been hell. This has been the worst day of my life. Let's two. Let's two recruit you. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Everything's going okay. Ooh. Crisis of belief. Enthralled. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Another one. Another one. Free me from this torment. DJ Khaled, help me out here. Hands almost home. Oh, show me the pyramid. Show me the pyramid for Bo Woman. It was 7,500 steel in total. Not including... Oh my god, another one. Thank you. Not including, of course, the thousands of steel I spent on my power grid. Look, surely we can recycle something else. We've got 15 and 15 of the steel slag. All of the weapons are finally done. All of the old apparel, all of the old guns, everything, all the mechanoids, totally sunk down. Actually, there's loads of steel slag left. There's 119 out there. And so it begins. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. We need to get the whole squad delivering to this. Go team. Well, this is going to take ages because some idiot built a very esoteric entrance to the uh, to the spooky Egyptian area. Finally getting this prison properly emptied out here. This is great. <laughs> this is so good at long last. Wait, you were going to plant? Oh, I can't keep track. It's just too much. There's just so much going on. Jesus, hold on. I can't manage all of this. Oh, you're terrible. Yeah, you're terrible. So you're, um, you're going to be a pee man. You're going to be a P-Man. Hello, little P-Man, or soon-to-be P-Man. Welcome to Mona's special grove. What an honor. Obviously, I can't show the rest of this. But in terms of service, YouTube would never be, never allow this type of thing. Not because we're supposed to be the good people, right? It seems a bit weird capturing somebody, putting them in a prison, implanting them with a pea seed, and having them devoured from the inside out by a pea child. That's a bit strange. So I thought I'd recruit them first, get them enthralled, so they were very happy to be here, very happy to serve Anne, and whatever they need for the, uh, whatever Anne needs for the colony. And in this case, I need you to become a pea man. I'm thinking if we just like slap a few beds on the other side and uh, put the dispensers on them, they can live a lovely life out here. I'll have to throw some recreation too. They can live in this lovely grove and eventually just burst into pea people. Genuinely, sincerely, without Tomboy, this none of this would have worked. 
this whole series would have just been it would have been in the bin because the only way we got resources is to get it from the empire the only way we can get we can build up our empire is by recruiting new people this with a regular person would have taken the rest of my human life acid sweet tomboy with your only 15 warning i'm actually shocked i'm shocked how are you not maxed out in both just had to do three spine replacements on three prisoners whose spines needed replacing because somebody keeps shattering them tomboy abre is very good at melee to the extent you might fit in well with bowman sail and maybe yourself oh are any of these ones any good or do i want to just i only want three perfection maybe because i don't want the game running any slower than it is please send help but amid all of the horrific empire management this is probably gonna be the most edited video i've ever made we have one enormous soon to be constructed pyramid sweet brave Tungi, and baz roto once again as roto clears space for Tungi's greatness the two of them oh my god are an unstoppable squad there's a reason only two people along with anna sanguifages in this colony and i don't think i need to explain it Tungi and baz roto more importantly for my friend pharaoh bowman a reward for saving this colony. An obnoxious, ridiculous, bizarre, and horrifyingly expensive reward. But a reward. Because those who serve Anne get served in return. Not in that way. Do not let the nonsense fool you. Fuck off. Just eat your human meat and shut up, grouse. Do not let... Oh, no. Do not let the enormous pyramid fool you, my friends. My god. There has been so much... Hidden, but but I would say fairly essential progress today. Every single bed, every single death rest chamber, except for this one, because I'd have to build a wall behind it. That would look just awful. Oh my god, Tomboy just became a dame from some gossip. That's what we like to see. You know what? You deserve that after that effort today. Every single bed, every single death rest casket, except for these ones, because I, I might have forgotten about those. Almost every single bed and death rest casket, every hospital bed, every prison room has been hooked up to a grid. We no longer have to worry about feeding or nursing any of our prisoners, much to their chagrin. And all of the important buildings, all of my machines and very difficult to replace things. Fire foam poppers. And not just the machines. The turrets, the walls, areas where our people are going to be stood, the things we're struggling with when 1,000 mechanoids turn up at the front door. That's no longer an issue. I mean, at least once, and then it'll be an issue, but we'll worry about that later. And finally, Anne's empire is better than ever. Am I still going to pursue that terrible idea of making sure we have one of each building? <gasps> yes, I may be. I need to remember to destroy that camp at some point. Not that they've sent anything. They don't seem to care, so maybe I'll just let them be. Thank you for joining me. I've been sat in this room... S uh -uh. Thank you for joining me. I've been sat in this room for seven hours and I haven't even begun editing yet. It's so warm in here. I have evolved into a lizard. Please leave me to my warm stone. See you all very much tomorrow. But of course, a thank you. A thank you to Necrophilin, Jim Stevenson, Scorched, Comrades Andy Candy, Zona the Beard, Sindelucreftu. Of course, that's how that's pronounced. Matman, Kerbo Supreme, Ryan Duffy, Freaking Satan, 91 Gearhead, Thor the Betrayer, Malarkey, Metabolus, Shojus, Nikki Sticks, Zero the Person, Drea O, Selfish Ghost, Critical Hat, Nick Bella, Mill, Arnie Rass, and Hecadeen for their support. The executive producer stays over on Patreon. Again, thank you, as always, to the executive producer patrons. The list seems to get longer and longer every month, and it is totally unmanageable. So I... <laughs> Don't go anywhere, though. Whoa, hold on a second. Thank you for the uh, for the eternal support. I hope you're enjoying Crusader Kings. So if you are, again, I, I do believe it's at this beat right now. I'm sorry to keep doing this, but you'll like it if you give it a fucking chance. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was very rude. Thank you to Adrissa, Andrew McKinnon, to Snarf, Puka Boy, Fair Fight Frank, Liam Smith, Shadowbase64, Lockett1217, Gaming Stuff, Layforce, Geb, Jiggy, J Jelly Jiggler, Ash and Soul, and Lady Adax as well. And finally, I shall see you all tomorrow. No Suka Kuka Pungas on the list recently. That's fine.